side. Congressman Horsford is holding a town hall meeting, and lifestyles of the rich and famous meets Perump. News 46 starts now. <laughs> I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. Well, the name has been released by Nevada Highway Patrol of the female that died as a result of an automobile accident. 37-year-old Patricia Michelle McClone was partially ejected after her vehicle blew a tire and rolled several times on Highway 95 around 1.30 in the afternoon on Friday. The victim was not wearing a seat belt when the accident occurred. McClone is the mother of 13-year-old twin daughters who are reportedly new students at Pahrump Valley High School. David Andros McClone's husband of two years said his wife was driving to work when the accident occurred. All of us here at KPBM TV would like to express our deepest condolences to the family. If you would like to donate to help this family in their time of need, an account will be set up in McClone's memory at U.S. Bank in the Smith Supermarket. Well, the Pahrump Town Board was in district court Monday regarding the proposed employment contracts and contract revisions for certain towns. For certain town employees pending the dissolution of the town board form of government on January 5, 2015. A restraining order was issued for new contracts until a court decision has been made, which may be on August 27th. Judge Kim Wonker was critical of the pending contracts and commented that she would review them before making a final decision, which she believes will be in the, in the county's favor. Well, the United States launched a series of airstrikes today against ISIS forces in Iraq. The same day, President Barack Obama vowed to act against the militant group following its beheading of an American journalist and its threat to kill another. Obama vowed justice for James Foley, calling his killing by ISIS, which refers to itself as the Islamic State, an act of violence that shocked the conscience of the entire world. ISIS released a, a video on the internet yesterday showing the beheading of the reporter who was kidnapped in 2012. Well, coming up, we'll have your health tip of the week, so keep it here. This portion of the news is brought to you by the news of this month. Welcome to the news of this month. News 46. Now here is today's Desert View Hospital health tip concerning morning sickness and antihistamines. This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mount Valley Physicians Group. Take 
antihistamines for severe nausea and pregnancy. Dr. Fazer says no research on this important link is needed, but for her, finding the cause and cure for HG is personal. I almost died in my second pregnancy. I was not able to keep any food down for over a month, and I lost the baby at 15 weeks. I decided to uh, devote my life to researching hyperemesis. I was shocked to see how little research there was, given that it is the second leading cause of hospitalization in pregnancy. Adrian's battle with HG is over now, but with two boys at home, there will be another surprise today. Earlier ultrasounds had suggested that baby number three would be a girl. It's a boy? It's a boy. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm Nancy Williams. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams is what Jack Sanders wrote about when it comes to our town of Pahrump. Sanders authored an article for the Las Vegas Sun for Entertainment celebrity reporter Robin Leach, who was the host of the popular television show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Robin Leach normally takes his uh, vacation, and this year he went to Tuscany, uh, Italy, for vacation, and he invites several people to do guest articles, and I was... Uh, called and asked to be a guest writer, and I asked, I said, what would you like us to write about? And the answer was, well, why don't you write about your wineries out in Pahrump? So I decided that's what we would write about. How did you come into contact with Robin Leach? Are you guys friends? Uh, how did he know about uh, you and the winery? Well, we actually have mutual friends, and uh, we actually have mutual agencies that we work with. And uh, one of the, uh, the reason it came through our agency, uh, which is Brain Trust, who uh, actually put us in contact with the uh, 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 Leach organization, and uh, that's how it all came about. So this was in the Las Vegas Sun? It was in the Las Vegas Sun, yes, and I think it's also syndicated at, uh, uh, I'm not sure how far or, where, or how many newspapers actually carry it. So you spoke about Sanders Family Winery and the Prump Valley Winery in the article, but also some other... Uh, locations here in Pro. Well, actually, what I, what I spoke about mostly was basically our town and what a great and wonderful town it is to come and visit and uh, all of the things that you can do while you're here in, in Pahrump. And as you know, I'm associated very strongly with the tourism, not only with the state of Nevada, but of course our own beautiful and wonderful town here. And I thought we would take the opportunity to talk about Spring Mountain Motor Ranch, our golf courses, obviously. Uh, certainly, we talked about both of our wineries here. And, but we talked a little historical, too, in as much as we talked about uh, some of the problems we had when we first started. And also we gave some fairly, I think, uh, nice descriptions of the ride from the teeming metropolis of uh, Las Vegas up over the beautiful Spring Mountains into our beautiful valley out here and, and all the things that you can do while you're here. We're getting letters and uh, responses back from Cincinnati. We're getting them back from New York. We're getting them back from uh, all over the United States. As a matter of fact, I did get one back from uh, uh, from England. So a lot of good comments too, as well. Yeah, as a matter of fact, not one negative comment, uh, which we're pleased. Some of them somewhat uh, humbling and a little bit embarrassing, but uh, nevertheless, uh, in a very positive, uh, straightforward manner. Would you like to join Sanders Family Winery in volunteering to harvest grapes? Well, they're doing that right now. They start at 6 a.m. Until, until 9 a.m. daily and will continue through Friday. They are located at 3780 East Kellogg Road. For more information, you can call 727-1776. Well, a defiant Texas Governor Rick Perry, a potential, a potential 2016 presidential candidate, was booked on Tuesday on two felony charges related to his handling of a local political controversy. Perry volu voluntarily appeared at the Travis County Court to be fingerprinted and to have his mugshot taken. The charges allege Perry misused his office by improperly threatening to and then withholding state funds for a program run by a county prosecutor unless she resigned. Perry, a Republican, was indicted last week on counts alleging coercion of a public of a public servant and abuse of his of his official capacity. His initial court appearance is scheduled for Friday. The case centers on Perry's veto in June of 2013 of seven point 
$1.5 million approved by the legislature to fund a public integrity unit run by Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lindbergh, a Democrat. He wanted her out following a drunk driving arrest. She refused to leave. His legal team insisted he had a legal right to tie fundings for the public integrity unit to Lindbergh's removal and argued he had no legal obligation to explain his veto. Well, Congressman Stephen Horsford will be holding a town hall meeting tomorrow afternoon in the Calvada Eye. Yes, uh, Congressman Horsford is coming to Pahrump. He was very disappointed that he had to miss his last scheduled visit at the last minute, so um, he's coming back out to see us tomorrow, Thursday, August 21st. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a town hall meeting at the uh, Board of County Commissioner's Chambers over there in the Calvada Eye. And he uh, had to cancel his visit because he's been working really hard on getting that VA clinic out here, and it's just got approval? Yes, it was approved and uh, should be starting construction, we're hoping, in September. We're waiting for a scheduled date on that. But, um, yeah, we were fortunate that the secretary, the new secretary of the VA, came to visit our VA hospital, which is in Congressional District 4. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the congressman was able to spend time with him at that facility and have some private conversations as well. Uh, So with uh, Assemblyman Oscarson and uh, Senator Reed and Congressman Horsford and all of our Nevada contingency has been working on getting that veterans clinic finally scheduled. So I'm sure there may be some questions about that at the town hall meeting, but it's time for you to come and ask questions, hear what the congressman has to give us as far as updates, and it's at 2.30 until 3.30 tomorrow afternoon at the Commissioner Chambers. And that's right in the Calvada Eye there, so if anybody has any questions for the congressman, be prepared to come on down and uh, meet with him and find out all the details. Yes, absolutely. Join us then. If you have any questions that you need about location or anything, my number is local, 775-764-7685. And find out what DeVry University has to offer right after these messages, so keep it here. News 46 recently spoke to a representative from the local DeVry University about the programs they have to offer. Keller and Graduate School of Management in DeVry are DeVry Xander Graduate School and Keller's Graduate and Master's degrees programs. We offer associates, bachelor's, and master's online on campus. We do have campus in Henderson or in London both. DeVry is regionally accredited school, and we do have a lot of great scholarships available right now for those who apply and qualify. You're out here at Night Communities Coalition at their job fair. People can find out more information, I'm sure, online. But mainly what you're kind of looking for is people that would like to continue their education and um, advance their career. Correct. If if education is a part of their degree degree plan, DeVry is is a great choice. Um, They can reach out to DeVry online at DeVry.edu, or they can contact me directly at 702-628-1428. The Keller School of Management teaches you how to uh, get into management? Well, it has management or graduate level programs. All of our master's programs, including project management, MBA. Um, DeVry is one of only about 16 schools in the nation that has accreditation from the Project Management Institute for our PMI programs. So that it's a growing field right now. Do you need to go to school in Vegas or can you take online courses? You can take your entire degree program online, yes. And scholarships are available, so find out more information by giving you a call. Yes, and I will refer them to the campus to an admission advisor, and those are not salespeople. They look at the students' goals. Right now we have a career catalyst scholarship that's up to $20,000 if people apply and qualify, and it is merit-based, but it's, there's a timeline on it. We would have to apply by August the 29th. And your phone number once again? 702-628-1428. And here's your entertainment this week with Deanna O'Donnell. The Primetime Emmy Awards will be held Monday, August 25th at 5 p.m. on NBC, host by Seth Meyers Live from the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles. This past weekend was the Creative Emmy Awards. Here are some of the winners. For Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series, Uzo Aduba for Orange is the New Black. Outstanding Host for a Reality or Reality Competition Program, Jane Lynch for Hollywood Game Night. For Unstructured Reality Program, Deadliest Catch. 
for a structured reality program, Shark Tank Outstanding Variety Special AFI Life Achievement Award, a tribute to Mel Brooks, and Outstanding Writing for a Variety Series is The Colbert Report. Directing for a variety series, Saturday Night Live, and in the choreography category, so you think you can dance, the routines are putting on the Ritz, Gold Rush, and Run the World. The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon for a digital experience, took home the Emmy for Outstanding Interactive Program. 30 for 30 Shorts won in the category for Short Format Nonfiction. In the Short Format Live Action Entertainment Program, the show Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis, President Barack Obama won Outstanding Special Class Program 67th Annual Tony Awards for the Informational Series or Special Category. Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown, Vice took home the Emmy. Don Pardo, the durable television and radio announcer whose booming baritone became as much a part of the cultural landscape as the shows and products he touted died Monday. He was 96 years old. Few recognize the face of Pardo, but Pardo's majestic delivery with its swoops in pitch and pregnant pauses graced newscasts, game shows, and TV programs for more than 60 years. During the original version of Jeopardy, he answers to the question, tell them what they won, Don Pardo. It became a memorable part of the program, and he was an integral part of Saturday Night Live for more than three decades in his role heralding the cast names to kick off each show. Elizabeth Vargas has returned to rehab as part of her ongoing battle against alcohol addiction. The 2020 anchor released a statement saying that she made the decision while on vacation this past weekend to return to treatment. As so many other recovering alcoholics know, overcoming the disease can be a long and incredibly difficult process, Vargas said in her statement. I feel that I've let myself, my co-workers, and most importantly, my family down, and for that, I'm ashamed and sorry. Arlene Martell, who Star Trek fans know to be as Spock's bride-to-be, died in a Los Angeles hospital Tuesday from complications from a heart attack. Martell was 78 years old. Martell's ethnic ambiguity earned her the nickname The Chameleon among Hollywood casting directors in the 1960s. It gained her diverse roles, including as a Russian spy on the monkeys and I Dream of Jeannie, a French underground operative in Hogan's Heroes, and a Native American woman in a Gunsmoke episode, and as a Vulcan on Star Trek. Trekkies still lined up at sci-fi conventions to meet Martell and pay for autographs because of her role as T. Pring, the Vulcan princess engaged to spot in the first episode of the iconic show's second season. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week. Thank you, Deanna. Now let's join Angela Miles with today's first business brief. <laughs> This is for Wednesday, August 20th. I'm Angela Miles. A new study strongly contradicts CEO criticisms that the country's corporate tax rate is too high. The U.S. rate of 35% compares unfavorably to Ireland, Britain, and the Netherlands. But according to the University of Southern California, U.S. companies actually pay on average only 12.6% because most stash cash abroad. Home Depot is benefiting from the strong housing market. A spring rebound helped boost sales. The home improvement store is now raising its outlook for the year. And Steve Ballmer is a bona fide super fan of the LA Clippers. At a Clippers rally this week, the former Microsoft CEO and new Clippers owner pumped up the crowd, promising a new era for the team. Ballmer bought the Clippers from former owner Donald Sterling for $2 billion. Sterling was banned from the NBA back in April after racist comments. That's the first business brief. Well, folks, coming up after these messages, we're going to have your weather with Noah Began, so don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Wednesday, August 20th. Today we had sunny skies with a high of 91 degrees. Your average temperature at the time of year is 102 degrees. Winds were coming from the south-southwest today at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 18 miles per hour. So we had some considerable winds out there today. The UV index today was 9, which is very high. Humidity was at 20%. Sun was at 606 this morning. And the record high in 1950 was 110 degrees. 
tonight will have clear skies with a low of 68 degrees. Your average temperature at this time of year is 79 degrees. Winds will be coming from the east southeast at 4 miles per hour with a gust up to 8 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 35 percent. Since it will be at 728 below in 1938 was 55 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 90 degrees and a low of 68 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south southwest at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 10 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 28 percent. Sunrise will be at 6:07 a.m. and the UV index will be 9, which is very high. For our seven-day forecast, we'll have a mostly sunny week. They'll we'll probably be seeing some clouds outside on Thursday and again on Monday. Your high temperatures will be ranging from 90 degrees to 99 degrees, and your low temperatures will be ranging from 66 degrees to 74 degrees. Well, if you still have time, if you're watching the 5 p.m. newscast, to attend the Nye County School District fundraiser be being held at Wings and Sea, uh, we'll donate 10% of all food sales to the Nye County School District's Homeless Activity Fund. Visit Wings and Things until 8 p.m. tonight to participate and enjoy great food and support our homeless students. They are located off Highway 160 on Loop Road. For more information, call 751-8261. And we would like to send, a, send out a very special happy birthday to Susan Strain. Susan is the mother of our own Deanna O'Donnell. Once again, happy birthday, Susan. And folks, that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Monique Mitchell. And from everyone up here at News 46, we hope you have a great evening, and we'll see you here again tomorrow. Until then, good night.